Dr. Zahir Tanin will uh, give opening remarks at this point. Distinguished uh, panelists, dear guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. At the, at the outset, uh, I would like to thank uh, Peace Islands Institute, the Journalists and Writers Foundation, and the Women's Platform for their organization of the event, and also for their commitment to education for girls in Afghanistan. I would also like to recognize the distinguished uh, panelists, His Excellency Ambassador Martin uh, Granditz, Dr. Uh, Samia Topol, uh, Dr. Anju Malhotra, and our able moderator, uh, Dr. Erwin Aryev, for their participation. Uh, it's my great pleasure to speak here today. Education is crucial to my country and to the building of a stable, peaceful, and prosperous future for Afghanistan. It's also a crucial tool for development in human rights. It uh, enables citizens both to be aware of and to exercise their rights. Understanding this, the promotion of girls' education is one of the top uh, priorities of my government. Increased uh, access to education in Afghanistan is one of the proudest legacies of the last 12 years and has been possible through the joint efforts of my government and our many partners. In the 1990s, less than one million students, all of them boys, received education. Even those who were lucky to be educated often left school without standard levels of literacy or employable skills. Since the fall of the Taliban, more than uh, 2.5 uh, million girls have returned to school. Today, 10.5 million Afghan children receive comprehensive education. 41% of these students are girls. 250 million textbooks have been distributed and printed, available in eight minority languages. These are monumental achievements and present, uh, represent a sharp contrast from the dark days of the 1990s. Unfortunately, all the great uh, progress has been made Many girls still lack access to education. It's a terrible reality that uh, school age children, mainly girls, do not have access to schooling due to insecurity, lack of school facilities, and a shortage of qualified teachers. Yet, in times of insecurity and armed conflict, education is the most important facet of life for children. It represents a glimpse of normality and hope, not just for them, but for the whole community as well. The international community has strongly supported the advancement of girls' education in Afghanistan. Their efforts have helped Afghanistan advance towards achievement the education targets set by the Millennium Development Goals. As we look uh, towards the future education, uh, as we look towards the future, education will continue to be deeply important. I look forward to hearing more about achievements and challenges of girls' education in Afghanistan from our uh, panelists today. I thank you.